I'll get to work then. You know, the fact that the book is terrible just makes it more worthwhile somehow. Why don't you make it better then? Make the sequel better. But then it's still got to be in the same vein of stuff that Cassandra likes, okay? You can't just half-ass it. Was that something here? Give Cassandra the latest chapter. Is it available already? Can I do it right now? Well, everyone, hold on, chill. I need the, I need the like, how's my inventory looking? All right, it's looking all right. Let me do the war table first. Uh, Josephine, I'm really sorry about the bucket and what happened with Sarah earlier. I was not intended. Yes. What do the people make of us? We've gathered many favors among the okay. community. They will be gently reminded of this. I'll go to Val Royal very soon. Let's speak later. Goodbye. A as soon as I give Cassandra the book, as soon as we go to Kara Oswin, and all that good stuff. <laughs> so much going on. Alright. How's everyone doing with their operations here? We got a whole ton just by walking around and people... We might want to find Cole's little amulet thing faster. I don't know, there's so many now. Hard in Hightown, Trouble in Skyhold. Nightingale, two points. That book is abysmal, and the entire code-breaking department wants to ritually set it on fire. Number two. The message is double encrypted. The message in the mistakes is in a merchant's guild cipher. We have not yet broken the guild's code. Scrivener. Okay. Revenge of the merchant's guild. Celebrate the dragon slaying. Dor Dorian's been waiting for a while. Where is the revenge one? Oh, there it is. An unsent letter... Oh, Josephine only. Unsent letter from Varric awaits in the war room, addressed to Jarek Dace, Danarum Merchant's Guild. Dace, I remember. From Orzammar. Jarek, I need a key to the Merchant's Guild cipher from one month ago, and you still have payments left on the loan house Tethras gave you for your rescue mission to Amgarak. So I think we can make a deal. I get the cipher, and your debt disappears like financial magic. And Nightingale, since I know you'll open this and read it before it gets sent, don't bother to keep a copy. The guild changes their codes every month because dwarves are naturally paranoid. Okay, Any send the letter. Activity? If my agents find anything, you will be the first to know. Josephine will get the cipher and give it to Liliana. Let us begin. Liliana, would you like to contact the hero of Ferelden? Sister Liliana, 15 hours! Per the information sent, we are prepared to deliver a message to the hero of Ferelden. It will not be easy, but we will ensure the message reaches her. Inquisitor. Reparations for Redcliffe. Inquisitor, I'm pleased that we were able to work together for the betterment of the people of Redcliffe Arling. May Andrasi watch over you, says Tegan. Eh, yeah, something like that. Locate the weapon of Tirida Axe. Inquisitor, I have no idea what to say. Scholars have debated whether Tirida's legendary axe was an axe set with crystal, an axe with a magically reinforced crystalline head, or perhaps even just a very polished axe. But apparently, the word translated from the ancient language commonly taken to be axe in fact merely means hafted weapon. It's possible that translations of the saga have been edited to omit evidence that Tirida Brightaxe may have been using what seems, from all appearances, to be a staff, and would more commonly be used by a mage. I apologize for my confusion in this matter. I will endeavor to be more diligent in my translations in the future. Well, we still found it. That's good. But I'm also wondering, well, if a simple poem can have this big of a error, then what about stuff like the chant of light and the myths and all that? We just don't know. Conscript. No, that's done. Outfitting the crew. What about... I only have Cullen left now. Oh, so Cole, who who does it? We don't know. I think it might have been Liliana, because it was free before, right? Oh, and then these ones are for some specific person, too. Okay, Arl's Invitation. Ambassador. Hmm. I apologize for any unpleasantness that might have arisen from my last correspondence with the Inquisition. My people have been under tremendous strain for too long, even before the destruction of the Conclave, and it has taken its toll on all of Redcliffe Arling. But that is in the past. Today, I read to offer an invitation to the Inquisition. The Bannorn of Kaelin is part of my domain and now lies empty. Banalara lost her life attending the Conclave, 
Her only living relative holds lands too far away to administer both. By Ferelden custom, the lands are now the property of whomever claims them through skill of arms. A tournament will be held at Callan, with the victor taking the title as their prize. The Inquisition may send a champion to fight in the melee, if you wish. Oh! <laughs> we could send a champion, but it might not be wise to win because Ferelden's hold grudges. We can't truly run a Banorn, but a well-chosen envoy would win us Ferelden allies. What does well-chosen mean? One that will lose on purpose? No, we're in it to win it. Screw the relations. Right. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Okay. All right. Let me check out what we have now. We can go... Let's see, Kara Oswin. I'm just thinking about the different places we can go to. Go to. Val Royo, Josephina Waits, Storm Coast. It's, there's stuff here. Little things, not big things. Crestwood is basically done. L Deep Roads, no. Kara Oswin. We can do Kara Oswin. Yeah. You know what? Let's do it. Cassandra has reason to believe that Corypheus is behind the disappearance of the Seekers of Truth, but she requires help to prove it. Cassandra has to come. This is different too, isn't it? This tarot card? It wasn't like this before. Oh, even Sarah! <laughs> What's with the arrow? People's things are changing. We're bringing Cassandra. Let's bring... We're seeing Templars and Seekers today. You can bring Cole. He might have interesting things to say. Vivienne. I don't know how she'll feel about all that stuff. Do we care how she'll feel? Well, okay. This party doesn't seem to mix well, though. Just looking at it. But hey, you never know. Kind of want to see Cole talking to Vivienne, but I know she doesn't like him. This is a thing. It's not a normal map, right? It's just like a singular map for this one. Oh, which one is it? Demands of the Cune. This... No, not this one. No. Cassandra's asked me to do so much stuff, actually. Promise of Destruction. Explore the castle. This is the one where we were like, well, we never found out what happened to... The Lord Seeker, Lucius, the real one. And now we go find out. Leads bring us here. If he's not dead, what would he be like right now? Care Oswin. Odd that the trail should lead us here. Ban Loren is a pious, unassuming man. What has he become involved in? He might simply be a victim as well. Let's see what lies within. Don't assume so quickly. We don't know that. We don't know anything right now. Cool. Assassin. Do some assassiny stuff. Mark of death. Every hit on your enemy adds part of its power to the mark's damage. Trigger your mark when you are ready, and watch them fall from injuries they never even noticed. You can manually trigger the mark early for bonus damage. Cool. Throat Cutter. A wounded enemy is the perfect target. Your attacks are even deadlier against targets that are close to death already. 2% for every 10% missing health. Interesting. Cassandra. Cassandra's got some cool Templar stuff going on. No. Oh, we gotta go back. No, 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 no. Can we go here? Your faith is your protection against the elements, not for you alone. The entire party gains increased resistance to fire, ice, electric, and spirit damage. Okay, more defensive one, but it's solid. Vivienne, Night Enchanter. Fade Shield. Draw back the energy released by your enemies in your attacks against them. Any successful attack strengthens your barrier. The more damage you do, the more powerful your barrier grows. Veiled Repost. Whenever you have a barrier active, enemies who attack you will take damage in return. Okay. Make her buff and strong. Oh. 
And that's it. There's nothing around here. Actually, there is. Hmm. Stuff. This doesn't really seem like a castle. Oh. No. Hi. Oh, oh, okay. Hi. Promiser's foot soldier. Dead. That red lyrium, is that me? It's me, right? Get them all. Promisers, is that what they're called? The band here. Oh, his people are immediately attacking me already. These are his people, right? These aren't Promises. just random people. I should have known. The Order of Fiery Promise is a cult with strange beliefs about the Seekers. They've hounded us for centuries. What kind of strange beliefs? They believe they are Seekers, the what? only rightful ones. They say we robbed their powers long ago, preventing them from ending the world. Ending the world. The only way to truly eradicate evil in their eyes, the world will be reborn a paradise. It's all nonsense. Why haven't the Seekers dealt with them? We have, many times. They simply reappear after a time like weeds. Nobody knows how. Is it possible to negotiate with them? They're fanatics, drunk on whatever forbidden magic they can find to make themselves true Seekers. This explains why the Seekers might be here, but not the connection to Corypheus. But these people are just claiming a bunch of stuff. They don't have any type of power, right? These people don't go through training, lifelong training to gain these powers, I assume. Well, we've got prison cells here. Might not be the best indication of what's to come. I don't think we even need to look at the shields anymore because Cassandra's is so good. Oh no! A seeker. Did they torture him to death? The promises will pay for this. They could kill a seeker? I suppose if you gang up enough, anybody can be killed. You all down here? Come and attack us. It's too far? Oh, we just dropped down directly. Blast them! <laughs> Courtyard key. As the seekers of truth have proven resistant to the effects of Red Lyrium, the Elder One has seen fit to place them in your care. Reclaim Whoa. your destiny and know um. that the Elder One expects your devotion as repayment. Signed by Lord Samson, commander of the Red Templars. Does Corypheus not realize the promises want the world to end? What use are they to him? So Corypheus sold the Seekers to these cultists. And they leapt at the chance, of course. But this doesn't explain <laughs> how he captured the Seekers in the first place, or what's been done with them. We must keep looking. Yeah, we might want to delay the talking for a little bit. The letter said Seekers were resistant to Red Lyrium. Our abilities grant us many gifts, but a resistance to Red Lyrium's corruption? That seems strange. Although it would explain why none have numbered among the Red Templars. And thus Seekers would Ow. be useless to Corypheus. He would have no leash to hold us. <sighs> you sound worried. I am. The Seekers are my family. Even though you left. Uh, 
Whoa! Dude, the, they freaking killed Cassandra! Wow! Oh my god! <laughs> I don't know what that was about. I guess it triggered a little bit too early. No! Cassandra, don't just freaking chug potions. Oh man. Okay, that was that was a little bit too much. Let's uh let's keep looking around and all that. Oh, it's a ew, who wrote who made this map? It's kinda crummy too. Oh. That's weird. Hidden stashes. So the Seekers are naturally resistant to Red Larium, and so because of that, Corypheus doesn't really want them. Seekers themselves are... they're pretty strong though. My impression is that probably every Seeker is above the average Templar in abilities. So for these Promiser guys who just stuff them away and kidnap them, it wouldn't go that well that easily, right? But if we're coming here and we're not seeing any Seekers walking around, we're just seeing Promisers, not looking great for the Seekers to be honest. Oh, is there just stuff around here, or... Oh, there's another house. But there's no traces of corpses lying around, I guess. Not these ones. What? Why are there random dead... Brondos? I thought Brondos were usually in the deep roads and stuff. It's too quiet here. Gotta figure it out for... Cassandra's sake. Jade cameo. Yeah, all the animals are dead. Is that on purpose? Oh, huh, constitution amulet. Actually, that could be good for somebody. I bet someone's wearing a really crappy amulet right now. No, that's okay. Coal. Evasion. Oh, surprisingly, everyone's okay. I'm not sure how the kitty collar has been doing. Hmm, I'll have to observe Cassandra a little bit more. In the heat of battle, we're all just sort of doing our own thing. But we gotta, gotta keep looking. Am I allowed to- Oh, they put the pot here so I can't climb the ladder. Well, how am I supposed to get that then? Am I even supposed to get it? Maybe not. Okay, sure. Wait, what? You want me to look- Hmm. Over here. I lost track of which way we were supposed to be going after that whole cutscene incident. Quiet. Oh. Okay, not quiet. Promisers. How are you doing, Cassandra? Sandra's got some skills. Oh, wow, okay. That might have been a little bit too much. Sometimes we get the slow-mo. I guess it's because someone's doing um important attack. It's out of curiosity though, Cassandra. What was your thingy again? Rally. Inspire allies to fight harder. Okay, so everyone gains healing and stuff like that. Good to activate in a big fight. Actually, good to activate in any fight. On average, how much time does it take for the bar to fill up again? Maybe that's something I should be monitoring too. It's this thingy, right? So it stays even after the battle finishes. Okay, that's really strange yet again. It's just sort of inside there. The Order of Fiery Promise. Consider the time in which the original Inquisition existed. The first blight had devastated the world, tearing down the mighty Tevinter Imperium and leaving nothing in its place. Just as there were several cults of Andraste vying to become the true inheritor of the Prophet's faith, there was more than one group claiming to represent the one true path to deliver the world from chaos. The Order of Fiery Promise was one of these, a band of men and women who decreed that not only was the end of the world nigh, it was necessary. Thetas must be cleansed with fire and reborn as a paradise. This they solemnly promised. They devoted themselves utterly to see this come about. 
Whether they ever drew close to their goal is unknown. The Inquisition eventually crushed these promisers during a battle recorded only as a cleansing of Chernow. The cult reappeared in the early Divine Age, claiming to take up the Inquisition's mantle after it had transformed into the Seekers of Truth, leading to Chantry hunts that did not see promisers eliminated again until the Exalted Age. Wait, what? Oh, you're saying... The Seekers of Truth originally were promisers? They believe themselves to be Seekers, but are you saying that the Seekers we know today originated from being Promisers? I can't believe we can't sit on that. Seriously? Left or right? Left. What are we hearing? It's not chaotic here at all. It's a beautiful castle. Yeah, I think this stuff is... We've outleveled it. Some stuff on the other side as well. Just hold on a sec. Maybe they have a dungeon or something, but... Even if they do keep the Seekers prisoner, is there an end goal in that? Oh my god, is that blood? Or is it red lyrium? Blood? Let's check it out. Whoa. Daniel! Daniel! Oh! Can you hear me? Cassandra... It... is you. You're alive. What's wrong with him? As are you. I'm so glad I found you. No, they... put a, a demon inside me. It's tearing me up. What? what? You can't be possessed. That's impossible. I'm not possessed. They... fed me things. I can feel it growing. Oh, they were basically conducting experiments then. It's not anything fade related. They fed this guy stuff? Oh my god. Can we do anything? I don't know. This thing inside him. The Lord Seeker. You have to find him. Of course we'll find him. If he lives, we'll... Lucius betrayed us, Cassandra. He sent us here, one by one. An important mission, he said. Oh... Lies! He was here with them all along. He's still working with them. We thought he needed rescuing. He doesn't. Oh. Ah. But we don't know that because we didn't go to the Templars. But we met Lord Seeker Lucius in Val Royale. He couldn't have been here. That wasn't him. It was a demon. Masquerading. What? How could that be? The Lord Seeker allowed it. He let the demon take command while he... came here. I think this part might be a little bit confusing if we didn't go back and see the Templar quest. Because I can imagine myself thinking, okay, so you're saying that... Lord Lucius here is a demon, in terms of his behavior, but that the guy we saw in Val Royale was an actual demon. Okay, so we have two demons. Cassandra, now is not the time for sympathy. Wait, don't leave me like this, please. You should have come with me. You didn't believe in the war any more than I did. <laughs> You know me. I wanted that promotion. <coughs> Go to the Maker's side, Daniel. You will be welcome. Are you gonna help him? He was my apprentice. I have never known a finer young man. 
Now we find Lord Sika Lucius. I was half expecting maybe Cole would say something here. I think he's a good person to have around when we interact with people on the border of death. But Cassandra... You can say she lacks many things, but stuff like discipline or resolve... These are not things she lacks, so she doesn't even need any help in seeing Daniels off. I wonder what Vivian has to say about this. Our mages! Cole! You guys! We need more details on these demons! Oh! Did I confirm if the other side came back the same way? It's just, it's just another door over there, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we don't know the full extent yet. We'll have to see. Why would Lucius... So... Why though? He willingly let the imposter demon take over at Theronfall Redoubt? Why? For what gain? You guys were supposed to be the checks and balances of the Templars. The best of the best. You couldn't be corrupt, is what we would have liked to believe. He was working with the Promisers directly? That's insane. These two organizations are not even... On the same wavelength. Where are you all coming out of? We need more information. Was there anything behind us here? It was just a dead end, right? Or not. just stuff though. <laughs> Materials. Oh, it's so eerie here. I don't like it. So now what? Because the Templars are gone. They know that. The Templars are already gone. And they're just holding up here. Are they still calling Seekers here one by one? They shouldn't be. Big castle area. Lord Sika Lucius. Cassandra. With a woman I can only assume is the new Inquisitor. You must be very proud of your handiwork. I presume you know we Seekers of Truth He's were infected. once the original Inquisition. Mm. Oh, yes. We fought to restore order in a time of madness long ago, as you do now. And we became proud. We sought to remake the world, to make it better. But what did we create? The Chantry, the Circles of Magi. A war that will see no end. And Aiden Corypheus is supposed to help? Corypheus is a monster with limited ambition. And your ambition is so much greater. We Seekers are abominations, Cassandra. We created a decaying world and fought to preserve it even as it crumbled. We had to be stopped. You don't believe me? See for yourself. The secrets of our order passed to me after the former Lord Seeker was slain. The war uh. with the mages had already begun, but it was not too late for me to do the right thing. We have a bit of an added layer of complication here with Cole, because Cole is the one who killed the previous Lord Seeker. But this is Cassandra's time to shine. N this is not right. It isn't. And this was the right thing. Lord Seeker, what you've done. I know. What Corypheus did with the Templars does not matter. I have seen the future. I have created a new order to replace the old. The world will end so we can start anew. A pure beginning. Join us, Cassandra. It is the Maker's will. <sighs> it 
This is- this line of thinking is very psychopathic, just destroying everything and... You know what, we'll just start anew again like it's a new sandbox. That kind of thing, don't you have family and friends that you're not okay with that sort of thing happening to? Or am I wrong? Because it seems like I might be. Oops. Hold up. Get back in here. Oh my gosh, he died in like one hit. He was insane. He had to be. The influence of Corypheus, perhaps? Was he trying to disable the Seekers? All these wasted lives. He could not have destroyed all of us. I won't accept it. Let us return to Skyhold. I wish to see what's in this book of secrets. Okay, we will return. Ah, oh, stuff like this, seeing the Templars and the Mages, everyone is... Even the Grey Wardens. They're supposed to be the most apolitical organization and all that. It's just so disappointing that in times of this... In these sorts of times of ordeal, everyone's going insane and doing all sorts of stuff. I know we're... We're panicking because we're at our wit's end, but... This is not it. This is not it. The Seekers are basically dead. The Templars are gone. The Red Templars now. The mages, they're still here, but they made a big mistake in allying with Alexius to begin with. And there's just so much going on. How weird too, because it looks like... Oh, I can use the staff as well. What did we just get? Fedathis? A Kunari weapon carried by Fedathis, a well-known re-educator in the new Exalted Marches, who was said to crush the heads of captured knights. Though this claim has never been proven. She died in the Battle of Afsana in 775 Storm, her mace claimed by the Orlesian knight who killed her. So this is not a little bit too crappy now, but look at it. Plus 20 damage against demons. <sighs> this guy, even the real person, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree or something. The imposter was a demon, this guy himself, his actions were very demon-like as well. I don't even know what to say. We can use Tirda's staff. It's better. Although it doesn't have the grips and the staff blades and all. And no constitution bonus. Mm, I can try it. And then I can give this to... Oh, Vivian is wearing... Oh, no, that's too crappy now. You can have this. No. Did I just give you the wrong one? No, 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 no. Don't give it to her just because it's purple. This one. Fade Knocker. I gotta do some inventory management again soon. <sighs> okay, this is all... Unless if you're 58 and above, don't even speak to me. Yeah, I know these are worse than Sarah's. She's over 100. And then I want to keep the purples. Okay. This would have been an interesting quest to hear both Vivian and Cole's op opinion on, I think. Except it's, um... Yeah, it's a companion quest, so I guess they don't do that here. We gotta figure out what the book is about. <sighs> this tome has passed from Lord Seeker to Lord Seeker since the time of the Old Inquisition. And now it falls to me. kind of um, a terrible coincidence that we're talking about books again right after we had that much more lighthearted conversation about Varric's book. Are you all right? You look drained. On the contrary, it's a delight. I'm riveted. Oh. Oh, you're joking. Do you know hmm. what the right of tranquility is? The last resort used on mages in the circle, leaving them unable to cast, but depriving them of dreams and all emotion. It should only be used on those who cannot control their abilities, but that has not always been the case. Because who decides? Not the mages themselves. You mutilate mages. 
I always thought it a necessary evil. What finally began the Mage Rebellion was the discovery the right of tranquility could be reversed. Ah. Oh. The Lord Seeker at the time covered it up. Harshly. There were deaths. It was dangerous knowledge. The shock of its discovery in addition to what happened in Kirkwall. But it appears we've always known how to reverse the right. From the beginning. This is new knowledge to me, completely. We learned from... Was it the Western approach? Yeah, somebody there was studying how to reverse tranquility. That was the first time I heard it. And now you're telling me that you always knew this, but you didn't mention it at all? This entire time we founded the Inquisition? Even though I'm a mage? I'm mad about the part that you knew already. And you're mad about the part that the book said that we always knew. We as a species. I, I am angry. I'm a little bit angry right now. I think we know why we keep it hidden. I'm really interested to learn more about this though, because, oh man, that's... That opens up so much more. Would the rebellion have been needless? Let's say back at Kirkwall, we knew that tranquils could be untranquilized. What does that mean? That means... What does that mean? I'm not sure. It means that, well, tranquils can be turned back to normal mages. Which means they are... The mage population will be seen as being even more scary than before. Which I feel like would actually make the rebellion happen even faster and even more violently. I'm not surprised that this new knowledge is actually something we've always known. That part I'm not surprised by. Although I am surprised in general that it can be done. Like, I'm, I'm not surprised about people covering it up. That doesn't surprise me at all. We created the Rite of Tranquility. I told you of my vigil, the months I spent emptying myself of all emotion. I was made tranquil and didn't <gasps> even know. What? Then the vigil summoned the spirit of faith to touch my mind. That broke tranquility and gave me my abilities. The Seekers did not oh, share wow. that secret. Not with me, not with the Chantry, not even with... There's more. Lucius was not wrong about the Order. I thought to rebuild the Seekers once victory was ours. Now I'm not certain it deserves to be rebuilt. I feel like we feel this way about every single organization so far. When things are okay, when it's smooth sailing, it's like, okay, well, you know, it's working out fine. But then when, when things are bad, the seams, the cracks start showing and then everything just falls apart. But Cassandra, you yourself, you're not a mage. So you're saying that the right of tranquility, the act of tearing emotions away from somebody, is something that can happen to anybody then, not just mages. But we do it as <laughs> we do it as a way to control mages because we're scared. And we don't do it to normal people because they don't we have no reason to use it yet. I don't think I've ever seen you so shaken. I do not think the seekers have been doing the maker's work. Not truly. Perhaps we believed it once. The original Inquisition came to be during a terrible time. But now, we harbored secrets and let them fester. We acted to survive, but not to serve. That is not the Maker's work. Hmm, it's really easy to sit here and condemn the organizations, like the Seekers for holding this great secret. But I'm thinking if I'm a Seeker, if I'm a Lord Seeker, would I hide this? I probably would. Because we have different factions and organizations and groups in the world, you don't ever really wanna... It goes back to keep your cards close to your chest. Yeah, that was a saying. And you don't really want... You want to have something that you can use as a trump card in negotiations, vying for power and all that. I can see how it happens. Doesn't make it morally right at all, though, of course. You said there was more in the book. At some point, power becomes its own master. We cast aside ideals in favor of expedience and tell ourselves it was all necessary for the people. Will that happen to us, Inquisitor? Will we repeat history? I think so. 
I, I want to say no. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be real, though. We might. It would be lying to say it's impossible. An honest answer, if not a comforting one. If you did rebuild the Seekers, how would you do it? I can't be the only one remaining. We will always spread to the winds, and some may still be out there. I would find them one by one. We would all read this book, no more secrets. Then together we would establish a new charter. The Maker's work in truth. You keep saying that, but what is the Maker's work? There is no way to know for certain. That is why we must seek it out. Perhaps we lost our way because we stopped looking. If you have two people, you can have three different opinions already. Cassandra might be someone that I would trust with a lot of things, but if she makes an organization, it's not like I'm gonna trust the people working for her, working under her, working aside her, as much as I trust her, right? Because they're not her. And then at some point, that's how things go south. This is such a... Like, I'm gonna press it, but this is so, like, bootlicky. <laughs> if anyone can rebuild them into something worthwhile, you can. She likes it. But are they worth rebuilding? You could make them worth it. I... will think on your words. Thank you. I could not have done this on my own. That was pretty heavy. I feel like we got some plot relevant information as well that's got to be magic right the right of tranquility we called it the right of tranquility a mind branded with lyrium brought to a state devoid of either emotion or sense of self the right was required to achieve the true peace that could draw a spirit of faith from the depths of the fade a difficult task considering a tranquil mind is all but invisible to these beings the candidate must be pure if the candidate proved worthy the spirit would touch his mind and he would be freed from tranquility, as well as made into a seeker in truth. If he proved unworthy, tranquility was permanent. It was only later when the first mage attempted to join our order and failed, that we learned tranquility rendered a mage unable to access his magic, as well as immune to demonic possession. Thus, when the Circle of Magi was born, we gave them the most holy right we possessed. It was a sacrifice we made for the good of all, so dangerous mages could be spared execution, and yet live productive and harmonious lives. What we did not give them was the secret of its reversal. That knowledge, and our ancient bond with the spirits of faith, shall forever be solely ours to keep. Even the Circle doesn't know. Am I right to assume that anything we learn with one companion will automatically be shared with everybody? I feel like I don't know if I would want Vivienne to know this. Um, then she's a mage. She deserves to know, maybe. If you don't have magic, you lose emotion. If you have magic, you lose both. A spirit of faith. We rely so much, like we, humans, the Maker's second children, we rely so much on other stuff. The Grey Warden's drinking Darkspawn blood. Now here we're summoning spirits of faith, pretending we're not doing that. And uh, that felt like a big revelation. I, I don't know how to feel about that. Oh, uh, Cassandra, I think I have something else for you if you're here. Hmm. Maybe I'll let her think a little bit. The book, is it ready yet? I thought it might have been ready. Give Cassandra the latest chapter. But it's not. I'll let her sit for a little while first, because I think she needs to think. Okay, why don't we talk to... Who else do we got left? We got Solus, Cullen, Blackwall... Were you I there? think that's it. Did you see what they did? Straight across the throat. Like it was nothing. Shit. What goes on in their heads? Blight. Blight goes on. Never forget that. Oh, talking about killing Darkspawn. Uh, how are you doing, Beric? Oh, plenty. No one interesting, though. <laughs> Our struggle is young. Rest assured, intrigue begets begetting. <laughs> You're awful. Oh, I know. We have a lot of people here now. 
Just random people hanging out, not necessarily our own people. What can I do for you, your inquisitorialness? I read your tale of the mm. champion, and is that the I same as before? That's a pretty common reaction. Go ahead. That's it. Carry on. Need something? Or are you just here to admire the dwarf? Little bit of column A, little bit of column B. Can I ask you something, Varric? You want to talk about me? <laughs> I'm flattered. Also inclined toward extravagant lies. That's it. Okay. Thanks, Varric. No problem. Solus, how's your little mural looking? Has it changed? Oh, this part's new, isn't it? Is it? I can't tell. There's stuff- oh! Is- that's the Grey Wardens. Right? Their little griffin symbol. And then that... I don't know. It looks ominous, though. Hi, Solus. I cannot believe the Grey Wardens could even conceive of such a plan. To seek out these old gods deliberately in some bizarre attempt to preempt the Blight. Yeah, it's insane. <laughs> it's insane. But they heard the calling and they they were desperate to do something. I'm trying to see it from their side, but if you don't see it, if you don't try to do that consciously, it looks really crazy on the outside. They do obsess over Darkspawn by nature. It's their nature. Grey Wardens have always been dangerous. Whoa. They care for nothing beyond stopping the Darkspawn. Like a fair maiden chasing a butterfly off a cliff. Except that if you hadn't stopped them, we'd all have fallen. Those fools and duty. Responsibility is not expertise. Action is not inherently superior to inaction. Forgive me. The entire idea is... unnerving. I'd like to hear more about what you feel about, you know, the Fade. Hey. My friend. I'd like to hear more about what you saw in your exploration of the Fade. I think I have shared everything of note. I should spend some time encountering more stories. Really? I need to know more about Corypheus. We've taken his army. He lacks the conventional forces to take Orlé. He must see Orlé destroyed utterly by whatever means possible. Not merely thrown into chaos. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Mm, Solus was a little bit uncharacteristically angry about the whole Grey Warden thing. Probably because it concerned his beloved Fade. Yeah, it's... It's kind of crazy. The whole thing is crazy. Are we ever going to be able to read these books, or is it just going to be stuck here? I don't know. A request has been made of you, Inquisitor. Here it is. Oh, okay. As you were. Yes, Inquisitor. Fiona? I heard of your verdict on Alexios, Inquisitor. Research, on your behalf, is almost too kind. I hope you know what you're doing. Do be wary of anything that man proposes. Yeah, I will, I will, and you, you've you got to be careful as well, because you came from the same batch of people. <laughs> I'll leave you to it. Mm, the research table? Nothing. Okay, let's talk to Blackwall and Cullen. Oh. While we're here, how are you doing, Dorian? Fancy meeting you here. Wow, it's like we don't live in the same castle. I should go. Naturally. We should use the fast travel thingy. I never use it. We can. It'll make my life a little bit easier, probably. Yeah, because there's no fast tra there's no fast travel thingies around. Quartermaster. Okay, close enough. Oh, I gotta do my he is doing so much. I should ride to join him. You said he is hidden. Fairbanks would find me. He'd see my spirit. So would his enemies. You'd fare worse than a legend. We haven't done the thing about finding the evidence of Fairbanks' nobility in the Emerald Graves yet. Maybe that should be our next thing. Yeah, I was gonna say, I gotta do my inventory stuff. Whoa, God, okay. Can I do it here? Because I gotta have... I gotta be able to look at everyone. Yeah, okay. Give me one second. This is probably as good as it's gonna get without me going back to the storage specifically. That's fine. 
Hey. You guys talking? Someone I knew once described adamant to me. Adamant is, and always will be, the Order, he said. A guardian on the edge of the Abyss. The lone soul that stares into oblivion and doesn't waver. That's what Warden Commander Clorel tried to be. Well, they all tried to be. None of the Wardens we saw wavered. They gave their lives willingly. They died for us. And Corypheus twisted their sacrifice to make it his own. I understand that Black Wall holds the Grey Wardens in very high regard, but I also feel like there's got to be a balance in that, and that you have to recognize that they made an extremely dumb choice. And that's why he has to die. You'll get no argument from me. There's no one to blame but Corypheus. Even Clorel's intentions were righteous. Her desire to protect was so great it led her astray. It's not right. To want to do good, to be good, and have that turned against you. I get that. I get that. But... <sighs> I don't think we can just judge her by the intentions because her mistake was so great. They were doing some insane stuff, killing each other, summoning demons. Even mages wouldn't summon demons all willy-nilly like that. Normal mages. Don't think of what went wrong. Think of their intentions, their sacrifice. Mm. Honor their selflessness. Clorel made mistakes, but she was a great woman. And she died a great woman. It's not the armor or the trappings of the Order. It's not the... joining. At the heart of it, all a Warden is, is a promise. To protect others, even at the cost of your own life. I don't know if it's really all that noble. Like, again, as we know, a lot of Wardens just were criminals who escaped the death row by being a Warden. <sighs> I, I get it though, I mean, I normally would hold the Grey Wardens in very high regard, but this whole thing is shaking my faith of the Grey Wardens too. Let's have a different, less scary horse around here, it looks so scary. Greater Frostback Elk. This one looks like a weird zebra. That'll do fine. Oh, I wish we could fill up all the stables. Hmm. How you doing? I'm here. What do you think of the Inquisition? I just know that you could shake this world to its foundations if you willed it. What do you think of my advisors? Come oh, on. not this again. <laughs> He's got the look of a man who's been through too much. He's seen the best and the worst of humanity. And I think he still struggles with where that leaves him. Still, I trust him to watch my back. I think so too. We should return to our duties. As you wish. You are, after all, in charge. I will go speak to Colin right now if I can get... How do I go up there? I gotta go around here? Colin... Colin had the whole thing about how he was... Not taking Lyrium. It Wait, this doesn't so bad today. The cook was in a jolly mood. She didn't shout at all, even when I dropped the ladle. Hmm. Everyone has good days and bad days. Um, we can jump down, but we can't climb back up from here. How do we get to where Cullen is? How is that normally? How does that normally happen? <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, yes, there is right here. Of course. What do you have? Uh, I've never spoken to you, have I? Inquisitor, you have come to the attention of the powerful, and I am the response. Monsieur Faris at your service. You will find my wares unique. I sell influence. Influence, huh? Interesting. Reinforced defender armor. It's... it's not good enough. What do you mean you sell influence? You, you sell like one armor, that's it. Oh. Protocols of passages. Protocols of passage, free marches. Rare consensus of guilds and trade partners in some of the influential city-states of the free marches. Though no magistrate could penetrate its obfuscating mire of language to draw out names. Subtle but far-reaching. Grants a major increase in the Inquisition power and, and influence. 
Interesting. Maybe this is the only thing worth spending my money on, really. We can buy the smaller ones and see how it goes. 10? What does 10 mean? I get 10 influence? 10 power? Let's see. Oh! Freaking, yeah, we have money just sitting here doing nothing. Can we buy 10 of them? And that's how that would work? Just buy 10? Is that okay? I mean, I can afford a lot more. And we can get Inquisition perks and stuff. That seems like a pretty good deal. Doesn't it? Too good of a deal. Is this okay? I'll leave it alone for now. We're getting a lot of power from this too. Reminds me of that... What is it? That extra DLC in Origins that gave you like plus 50 friendship? Seems a little bit like it might be too broken if we use it too much. How you doing, Colin? Gloat all you like. I have this one. Are you sassing me, Commander? I didn't know you had it in you. Why do I even... Inquisitor. Leaving, are you? Does this mean I win? <laughs> Please don't stop on my account. All right, your move. You need to come to terms with my inevitable victory. You'll feel much better. Really? Because I just won. And <laughs> I feel fine. Don't get smug. There will be no living with you. I should return to my duties as well. Unless you would care for a game. <laughs> I don't know how to play chess. <laughs> Prepare the board, Commander. As a child, I played this with my sister. She would get this stuck-up grin whenever she won, which was all the time. My brother and I practiced together for weeks. Oh, the look on her face the day I finally won. And between serving the Templars and the Inquisition, I haven't seen them in years. I wonder if she still plays. I'm glad to hear she's still around. You have siblings? Two sisters and a brother. Where are they now? They moved to South Reach after the Blight. I do not write to them as often as I should. Ah, oh, it's my turn. Does play fair mean I'll win? Oh my gosh, this is like... Let Garrus shoot the can or do I shoot the can? <laughs> Alright, let's see what you've got. This may be the longest we've gone without discussing the Inquisition, or related matters. To be honest, I appreciate the distraction. Alright, I, 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 I'm done with that lifestyle. <laughs> For now, maybe. We've been through enough to drop the formalities and simply talk. I suppose we have. I believe this one is yours. Well played. We shall have to try again sometime. I didn't give you a smug grin so you don't have to practice for weeks to try to beat me, okay? That was beginner's luck. Oh? What you got there? A letter. Dear Mia, I'm still alive. Your loving brother, Colin. Honestly, is it so difficult? We thought you were dead, again. If the Inquisition was not on everyone's lips, we would never have heard that their fine commander survived Haven. We've been hearing strange things about the Templars lately. I am not sorry you left them. I thought your resignation was implied when you joined the Inquisition, but you meant something more, didn't you? It's a fool's errand asking you to stay safe, but please try. Your loving sister. See how easy this is? Mia. <laughs> this is the best opportunity you'll have to reply. Reply! First the Templars, now the Grey Wardens. Both devoted their lives to fighting evil. Now they serve it. If I was possessed by a demon, would you... I would rather not consider it. I would rather your answer be yes. You need to not, you know... Whoa, alright. No, man, I'm sorry. I just said I'm done with that lifestyle. They make it this clear for you though, huh? I really gotta start nailing it out in my head. Huh. What do you think of the people you work with? Who do you mean? 
No, we've heard this before. Are you satisfied with the Inquisition's forces? Our soldiers handled themselves well during the siege on Adamant. They reacted quickly to changes on the battlefield. More importantly, they relied on each other. Trust in your fellow soldiers is not something that can betray. Hmm. Oh, who was that? What? I should let you get back to work. <laughs> oh. You have visitors, Cullen? No, they just came in for a stroll, apparently. Okay. I didn't know people could just walk into the commander's room like that. <laughs> what was up here again? Nothing? Literally nothing. Hey, it's been a while. I want to change my clothes again. We have so many different options. We should make use of them. <laughs> 